G'day, Dallas here from Dunham Watson. Uh, just showing you today a run through of what you receive when you order an Eco Draw and a bit of an explanation on how you put them together. We have a 950 that we're going to show you today, but the steps involved are identical for all the Eco Draws in our range. So I'll just run through it the, firstly everything that you're going to receive. So you're going to receive your draw carcass, your draw insert. You're going to have the canopy draw lock fitted, if your bag is fitted. You're going to note that there's protective film on everything. Uh, this is left on deliberately. This is going to help reduce any scratches in transit, your handling, your install. Um, it's just a matter of peeling it off when, you, when you're ready to put them in. You're obviously also going to get a pair of draw slides. You're going to get your key for your handle. You're going to get your striker plate, which is for the sprung loader tongue on this handle. You fit it this way, not this way. So it goes on like so, and the idea behind it is that the tongue, which is sprung loaded, slams up behind both. It's a two phase one, so if you don't quite shut it properly, it will still retain closed. But the idea is that you would slam it shut, it's going to kick behind this bigger one, and it's going to give it a nice firm hold in transit. So that is your striker plate. You have the option of a rear plate, it's applied loosely. Some people We'll put them on after install. It is handy that the back is left open because if you are putting this in the back of your Land Cruiser, for instance, you could fold down the middle seats and it makes it a lot easier to reach the rear of the drawer to secure the back in. And obviously from the front, it's very easy to reach those points. And then if you did choose, close it off. Being all laser cut, all the holes line up. Just be a matter of riveting it and bolting it on like so. Closed and shut. So I'll just show you, put it up on this desk here. So when it comes time to put it together, I always like to put the left hand slide on the left and on the right on the right. This makes it a lot easier when you're pulling them apart to remember which runner belongs to which. When it comes to disconnecting them, you'll notice when you come out to full extension, this trigger is spotted. All you do is push down on that. It comes out like so. As I mentioned, these are all laser cut locally, folded and welded in our shop in-house. And obviously all the holes line up. So you've got a series of runner holes on the back of this runner. And you've got your four pilot holes in the back of the carcass there. It's just a matter of lining them up with their set holes. Very straightforward. Obviously you get enough nuts and bolts to do this. When you're fitting them, obviously you don't want the nut on the inside of the runner because that can cause the runner to collide. So, an example would be There. Obviously my nut would go on that side, which does add to the width of the drawer, but if you can imagine, it keeps everything flush on the inside of the runner, so as things are operating over it, you don't have to worry about collision with the slides. You'd obviously do the same thing on the, in, on the alternative side. And when it comes to putting the drawers together, same deal. You've got your internal runner. You've married it up with its pilot holes. This time, it's coming through this way, and you're going to be running your nut on the inside of the drawer carcass. Same deal. The nuts are both on the external sides of the slides to prevent any collision when you're operating. So you'll have your runner fitted like so on both sides. This will be fitted. You're going to be pulling them both out, and you want to put your drawer back in now. What you do is pull the slide out to full extension. You've got this carriage that slides around. You want to feed that to the front. And you'll see on the back of the slide you have this cutout. What you want to do is you want to keep one hand on this carriage to stop it from moving. And you're trying to line up with that smoothly. If you let go, it tries to move the carriage. It's always good to hold it. And as you go through, you'll feel it click over. It's 
now locked in. Having done that on both sides, it means the drawer is now going to operate without coming beyond full extension because the runners have now engaged themselves again. Underside of the unit is countersunk. So when it comes to fitting your striker plate, you would be running your bolts through like so. And once again, that would just be sitting that way. So there you have it. Uh, just a brief explanation of how you put together an eco draw. However, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or click us in the